Good morning. Throughout history, faith and fishing have shared a very close connection. This has been especially true for me, and by way of example, I would like to share with you a small but important part of my faith journey. In 1939, at the age of 12 years old, Joan Salvato won her first fly casting tournament. She went on to become the national casting champion in 1943 at the ripe old age of 16, a title she held for 17 years. Against an all-male field, she won the distance competition with a cast of 161 feet. Joan married Lee Wolf, and together they started the Wolf School of Fly Fishing. Today, Joan is known as the first lady of fly fishing, not only for her casting skills, but more importantly, for her extraordinary gift as a teacher. Joan is in her 80s now and doesn't teach as much as she used to, but I count myself very blessed to be one of her many students. And in addition to casting, she taught me a valuable lesson that is as applicable to life and faith as it is to casting a fly. In her teaching, Joan identifies four stages in the evolution of a fly fisher, later adding a fifth for the most dedicated. In the first stage, the new fisherman wants to catch as many fish as possible. The next stage is to catch the biggest fish. The third stage is to catch the most challenging and smartest fish. And the fourth stage is beyond fish, where all that matters is a deep appreciation of where you are and the beauty that surrounds you. For those lucky enough, the fifth stage is the desire and ability to share your joy with someone else by teaching them how to fish. This is why I have developed a passion for teaching this wonderful sport. Fishing is an activity that is extensively interwoven into my spiritual journey. I initially thought that contemplative prayer was time spent in a trout stream. I am sure it is no coincidence that the evolutionary process that I have just described also describes my faith journey to a T. You see, the first stages were all about me and how much I was getting out of being a member of St. Barnabas. While I still feel like I am receiving much more than I give, Increasingly, I find myself just appreciating the opportunity to be a part of this wonderful parish. As Jim Clark put in a recent sermon, getting in touch with the gifts of God will awaken our generosity. Every day, my eyes are open to the gifts of God. I have received so many blessings here at St. Barnabas that I am compelled to share those blessings in every way that I can. Thank you all so much for being such an important part of my life. God bless. Thank you, Bruce.